Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here back with Easy Drummer Free and I show you how to multi outrouting this in Reaper. So let's go with this. So here we are in Reaper and in Reaper it's pretty pretty easy uh, to build up some tracks. Double click here or double click here. So now we have a track and in Reaper you have the big big advantage that you can use and track for everything, for midis, for just everything. In other doors you have to build up a midi channel or a normal channel, but in Reaper you can use a channel or a track here for everything. So the first thing what we're doing when we want to root out Easy Drummer, we're searching for Easy Drummer. There it is. So Easy Drummer is now loading up. You see this here if you're familiar with uh, Tune Track products like uh, Superior Drummer um, or Easy Bass, then it's normal. So now it's loaded up. What we choose just let us quickly go to a bright room and uh, what I really enjoy is the prop metal. So when we choose our drums, we can activate even this here, the tom, so we have all the toms activated. Um, then we go to mixer and there we see it's just stereo out, you know, it's that has all the same output, one, two. So then we go to mixer here, then we go to multi-channel and now something is changing. There it is. Different outputs right now. Okay, um, we pay attention to this one and not to the percussion ones right now. The percussion one are always one, two, one, two, one, two. You can change this if you want to. So now that we uh, change to multi channel in Easy Drummer, we go back to the door to Reaper. Then, oh, was too fast here. Then we see this here Easy Drummer loaded up. Then we do right click and go into build multi-channel routing for output of selected effects. This pop-up coming up, build routing confirmation. I don't know why it's suddenly so small. It's uh, normally bigger, but here you see the stereo outputs and sending it to different channels. So we just put yes. Then we go back to the, re to, to the door to Reaper. And then we see all these channels building up and when we do a right click on the fader, you see here it's sending from Easy Drama from the Easy Drama track 12212. The second one is 34212. The uh, and so on so on 5678 and so on and so on. So now we have to rename this. Go in here into the mixer. There we see the kick is rooted to one two. You can do this to the channel you want, but I've chosen here one two. So then you go to Reaper and name this kick. So that's the kick, and then you're doing this to every channel. Then this is here snare because this is free four, free four. So I'm just doing this quickly and then I will be back. So now we're back and we renamed everything. You see this here and but there are some channels which are too much so we go on this one and mark all these channels and delete them so now we have built up this here what the next thing I'm doing is to build up double click here a new track and this is our drum boss and I'm rooting everything into this drum bus but first we have to remove the master send from every track and send this to the drum bus. There it is. 
So we send now the kick to the drum bus and we do the same with all the other channels. So let's drag this here. So everything is sanding to the drum bus, but we have to erase the master sand here. So that we removed from every track the master sand and we're sending all these channels to the drum bus. The drum bus is now going of course to the master sand if this master sand is your master bus. If you have a mix bus uh, then you have to uh, route this to your mix bus. And then let's go back to here and then we should hear this. There it is. When you see what channels are affected from that. It's the toms, so when we hit the snare, you know, there is a bleed, when we go to the mixer, you see this bleed symbols, and they, there is a bleed of course of the microphones, uh, when we hit the snare, the Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft, the microphones from the uh, overheads, the room microphones uh, are hearing this also, of course. But now we have rooted it out. This is what I wanted to show you. It's pretty, pretty easy. And yes, that's pretty it. Hopefully you like this. If you have question for the multi-out routing, ask me, I will try to answer this to you. And maybe I do a mix video, how I mix these easy drummer multi out routing in Reaper. And I'm doing this also maybe for Logic. If you would like to see this, feel free to comment below. And I think we will see us next week. Bye bye.